Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about attenuators once again. Uh, let's recall, if we need to measure high voltages, what we do, we take the lead of the oscilloscope, we connect a device like this, and only then we connect the whole thing to the oscilloscope. Now the voltage is reduced and we can safely measure the high voltage. So when we uh, get kits uh, with the oscilloscopes, we expect such devices to be included. And indeed, when we look at a star kit for a four-channel picoscope 4425, we are going to find at least one device like that included. However, this is not the case with the new picoscope 4425A. And if you look at the specs for the four-channel starter kit, we are not going to find an attenuator at all. So the question is, what's happening? Does this oscilloscope need an attenuator? Why is it missing? Firstly, let's take a look at what the new Pico 4425A is and how it differs from the previous model. And the biggest difference is here in the connections. Uh, in addition to the BNC connector, there are six pads that match six pins on the specialized probes. And this allows two things. Firstly, the scope can send power to the probe if it needs it. And secondly, it establishes communication to the probe so that the probe can tell the scope what it is and what its settings are. And this is a feature that is very useful to both new and experienced users as it matches the channel settings and the probe settings automatically. However, uh, the rest of the specifications are pretty similar and that includes the over voltage protection, which is plus minus 250 volts. This means that if you are measuring something like a primary ignition waveform, you need some sort of an attenuation in the path. Otherwise, you may damage the scope. How is this achieved in the new oscilloscope? Well, instead of a separate attenuator, a picoscope offers a special probe that combines the lead and the 10 to 1 attenuator. And this has interesting benefits because not only the probe is automatically recognized by the picoscope software and thus the channel settings are automatically set to 10x, but also because the leads and the attenuator are together well matched with the oscilloscope, it is claimed that this combination can be used to capture high-speed signals like CAN bus and flex ray. So to summarize, yes, uh, the new oscilloscope still needs some sort of attenuation when collecting primary ignition waveforms, but it is achieved differently through the use of a special 10 to 1 scope probe. Now when it comes to the kits, things get a little bit confusing. As we've mentioned before, the 4-channel starter kit doesn't include any of such probes. Not sure why. If you plan to, ge to get this kit and uh, uh, plan on collecting primary ignition waveforms, you will have to order it uh, as well. But the good, good news, this probe is not more expensive than the original attenuator. So, yeah, why not get it? When it comes to the standard kit, it includes only one such probe, and the advanced kit includes two. So, yeah, if you need more, you will have to get more. And this is all what I have for today. See you next time.